Welcome back to another video, guys. And as always, thank you for tuning in. As you can see, we are in the car and we are headed to the park. Specifically today, we are headed to Bush Gardens. We're gonna answer a question for you. It's early in the year, and I know a lot of you are considering your ticket options, whether or not you should get a one-day ticket or membership to the park. I'm gonna go over the benefits of doing a membership for Bush Gardens Williamsburg. And at the end of the video, we'll talk about whether or not it is worth it in 2023 to go ahead and get yourself a membership. I will start off the video by letting you know that I am a current member. So I understand the perks and I've been a member for some time. So hopefully this video helps you decide whether or not membership is right for you. Now, we're gonna make our way into the park. We're gonna stop by the kiosk in front of the park to show you some of the first benefits of having membership at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Alrighty guys, we are now inside the park on this chilly last day of Mardi Gras. But we are not here for Mardi Gras, although we will be enjoying some of the food. We are here to talk about the memberships here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and whether they are worth it. But we're gonna break down today's video. We're talking about five of the perks. We'll break down each perk, why I think that it's beneficial. And at the end, we'll talk about whether or not it is worth it to purchase a membership in 2023. All that being said, let's get into the park. You just saw us at the kiosk doing the first perk let's sit down and talk about that first alrighty guys you see in front of me here what we got from the kiosk and I've talked about this multiple times on different videos when you are a member you go to those front kiosk and per visit you'll find different cool benefits today we got a Busch Gardens Williamsburg specialty beverage which we will be trying out we'll head to the back of the park to grab that later and also one free Mardi Gras item now, the Mardi Gras items range from $6.99 all the way up to like $12, depending on what you're purchasing. So already some savings up front, but also just a cool experience. If you weren't purchasing the lanyard or really indulging in the Mardi Gras festivities, just visiting the park, you could still grab one quick item and enjoy it, as well as this little cool one. There's all different types of things that they add throughout the year, like free membership lanyards, um, early park admission and different other things that you'll get with these tickets as well as bring a friend um, and then over here you see this specialty membership pin so in the spirit of today's video we are doing a giveaway it is the members limited edition pin as you see right there it is very nice we'll be giving that away so stay tuned up till the end of the video for instructions on how you could win this beautiful pin and for our number two i think we're going to stop by grogan's and grab the meatballs to warm up a little bit but of course we always have to pay respects to the beautiful water features here at bush gardens williamsburg as we make our way to number two ate our meatballs over at Grogan's and now it's time for our number two. Our number two is the special events that you could be invited to as a member. <clears throat> for Pantheon there was an early access for all the members like I think it was like two weekends or three weekends where you could come and ride Pantheon before it opened to the general public. There's also events that are held like early preview events for Howl Scream, Christmas Town, and other things. And those events are super awesome because you get to come to the park with minimal crowds, enjoy the whole entire park, all the haunted houses if you're here for Howl Scream. And that's an intangible benefit that you can't really put a value to um, because when you come on a regular night, you could very well be waiting in one of these lines for a haunted house or even to see Santa hours at a time. So. That is our number two. All right, and we continue on our trek through the park as we make our way to our number three location. And it looks like the trainers are currently inside the enclosure with the bald eagles. And there's one of the bald eagles right there. I only see one at the moment. Here we go. Number three, we're gonna do in style. Looks like the Mardi Gras street party is going on right now. 
We've captured that in our last couple vlogs for Mardi Gras, so make sure to check that out. Performers there do an amazing job, but look at this view of Griffin. The drop right here, woo! It's a little steep. There's the lift hill. I love these little rides. Alrighty, number three of the benefits that you have as a patch member. I'm just relaxing, cruising. So number three is the discounts that you get with membership. So you get merchandise, food, discounted, anywhere from five all the way up to 20% depending on the pass that you have. And that's another thing I, I should have mentioned in the beginning of the video. Depending on the pass that you have, the perks do vary, but for the most part, most of the things that we're mentioning today are across the board. It may not be exact like the discount that I'm mentioning right now. Anywhere from five to 20% discount on merchandise and food items could be a fairly significant savings for your visits here if you're bringing family friends you know and it's something that you could share with your friends um, you know when they come they want to purchase an item for themselves you came along with them they're not members but you could purchase that item or at least use your pass so that their purchase could be discounted it makes a difference and check it out over the land of the dragons where we just came through we have another trolley coming in that is one of the best ways to travel and explore the park you get an amazing view. Check out Alpengeist and Griffin over here. You get to cross right in between them and see them in a whole different light. All right, you guys, let's keep making our way through the park. And as we cross per usual, RIP Dark Castle, but you will no longer be empty soon right now they do have the preview center we had an early preview of the preview center and also the ride vehicle check that out on the channel it's like two videos ago but we just got our perk which was the specialty drink it has like sparkles and stuff in it it looks kind of crazy i don't know if i'm capturing that on the video very well but it's like glitter inside let's taste it all right this is not necessarily uh, one on the list we still got to keep moving but let's taste the specialty drink which I'm not sure if you guys could capture that the glitter that's inside looks super cool but non-alcoholic by the way tasty it's like a like a great drink and it's not too overpowering and maybe we'll also make a pit stop inside of the preview center and go check that out since we're here anyway guys and we pull over to the side after checking out the dark coaster preview center as well as running into a couple of the characters here I meant to, to record them regularly and talk to them but I accidentally did it in slow-mo so you guys will see it in slow-mo but that brings us to our number two and our number two is if you get your membership as a two park membership you'll get the benefit of being able to go check out one of the most amazing water parks here in Northern Virginia, which is Water Country. We checked it out last year for the first time during the summer and were extremely impressed. I am looking forward to heading back to that park this year. Now, this is a, mem uh, a membership perk that obviously you have to get the two park membership in order for, for it to make sense for you, but it is a huge one. The fact that you could get two parks for the price that we would discuss at the end and whether or not it is worth it is a huge thing and that park is amazing i've been to several water parks i've been to volcano bay and i gotta say this is up to par with a volcano bay not esteemed but up to par as far as the offerings and how beautiful the park actually is bam and to start finishing off our lanyard i completely forgot i still had three tastings left so now two we got ourselves a little taste of king cake daiquiri, which we tried last time. 
This would be amazing on the beach. Today's a little cold, but still tastes delicious, so we grab some. Alrighty guys, so we've talked about a lot of things. We've talked about the different events that you get invited to. We've talked about the discounts. We've talked about some of the merch that they give out. We've talked about a lot. Um, and I gotta say, there's a lot of reasons to, to be a member, um, but whether or not it makes financial sense to you, we'll talk about that in just a second. But also don't forget that we do have a giveaway in the form of this limited edition pin, which we'll be talking about in just a moment as well. But as we move to our number one, it is the year round access to the park. All right, now this will vary depending on the type of ticket or membership that you end up getting because some of the memberships do have blackout dates. But for the most part, you'll be able to come to all the different events that they have throughout the year um, more often than the average person. And if you come as often as I do, you'll definitely get bang for your buck. Now, let's talk about whether or not it is worth purchasing the membership here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. And I gotta say, personally, I make the most out of my memberships and I have memberships at multiple parks and I visit multiple parks because of what I do here on the channel for you guys. Um, but if you are an average visitor, this could still be a feasible purchase for you guys because it varies anywhere from like $170 up to around like $300 for the annual pass. And the $300 one gives you access to all SeaWorld parks, which is an amazing benefit if you're gonna take advantage of it. And then you have just your, your basic membership that you could have just coming here to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And I believe it's like $174. Don't quote me on that exactly. I'll probably put it across the bottom of the, of the screen, the exact prices. But if you come here enough and you take advantage of those extras, like today we had the dark coaster drink and we also had what what one free Mardi Gras item, which saved me about like anywhere from six to $10 on that item, you can make a lot out of your visits. And if you frequent like I do, one of the things that, that you could do is um, in the month of August, I believe every visit that you have, you could get a quick queue for Howl Scream and those quick queues cost anywhere around like $30 if you're actually coming to Howl Scream and purchasing them that same day. So if you come every single day and get a quick queue and you get yourself five, that's a pretty significant savings and for your basic membership can already pay for, for that. So I think it is well worth it. Now you gotta make the decision on whether or not your pocket can actually afford it. Um, but if you're gonna be visiting the park multiple times and you're local, I think it is a steal of a deal and a no brainer. Guys, I hope this helped you decide whether or not the Busch Gardens membership is the right thing for you and feasible within your budget. Now, let's talk about the pin giveaway. So for the pin giveaway, I'm gonna make this very easy. I hope you guys enjoy this and want to get this in your hands. If you do, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Also, comment down below. I just want you to comment one specific word and that is member. Comment member, subscribe to the channel, share this video, like it and that is all you have to do i'll be making the drawing after let's say a week of the video being out and then i'll be shipping this out to you my expense i purchased it for you and i'll pay for the shipping as well guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for coming along i'll see you guys on the next one but don't forget to ask yourself have you been entertained